quick update on what is going on with the M5. So basically I did about a little over 1000 miles since all the repairs I have done. And uh, she's running good. I also did about uh, 20 hard pulls and no problems at all. I still need to do the oil change. It was a good idea to do the oil change first before I do any kind of uh, hard pulls. But I couldn't wait since the last time I replaced uh, the rod bearings. But uh, that doesn't matter since right now I do have another problem and it's a uh, kind of an electrical one. Uh, I have a problem with my uh, ELV uh, module, my electrical steering uh, lock, which is underneath the steering column. So let me show you this module right here. As you can see right now it's disconnected. And basically what this module is doing is uh, locking your steering wheel and this module also communicates with the cat tree module which is also down there so when you get your key and insert it into the key slot and press the start button uh, it should switch to ignition position number two if everything is good but if not uh, you will get the steering wheel icon here and you won't be able to switch uh, to ignition number two and you saw my uh, uh, EOV module is disconnected right now, but I already reprogrammed my CAS module. So when I insert the key and I press the button, I don't uh, need this uh, module anymore. As you can see, I can switch to ignition number two with no problem, which is a good thing. I do have another problem right now, which is related with the steering wheel uh, sensor. Uh, but this actually happened uh, before I end up uh, flashing the module. The reason I did the flash uh, with EOV off is not because I can't replace the EOV module, it's because this module is two years old and uh, still giving me the steering wheel error from time to time and the problem is even after I clear out the errors, count errors, whatever it is, it still doesn't want to start, it starts whenever it wants. I try even the EOV emulator because I was thinking maybe uh, the module is bad. It doesn't matter it's, that it's new. I tried this module. It was working for quite a while but still did the same thing. So I was uh, suspecting my cast is bad or something uh, with the flash. So I tried to read the flash and I end up um, uh, breaking my cast module which was the bad thing. So basically this is my original CAS. My first mistake was uh, unplugging the CAS module without disconnecting the battery. Then my second mistake was using the mini proc to read the EEPROM and the flash file. I was also using the solderless adapter. Uh, basically you are uh, putting the solderless adapter on top of the CAS like this and then you are going to connect uh, the device to the adapter and you will be able to read uh, the module but in my situation uh, I end up um, breaking the module since um, you're using this app application here and it gave me error uh, it couldn't read the, the, the file and the bad thing about this application uh, this device like the whole system is that uh, it does have read and write credits as you can see I have two read credits and you have to buy them so this is not a good thing since this thing cost $450 so uh, I end up uh, breaking my cast then uh, I put it back since I didn't know that I bricked it and uh, I inserted it in the car and there was no lights at all and the only thing working was uh, the dome light and uh, the reason for this is because the cast module does control pretty much uh, it's waking up all the modules, the rest of the modules. So it does play really important uh, role in the whole uh, module situation. So don't mess with the cast if you don't know what you're doing like I did because it's going to cost you a lot of money. So I cut the losses with these devices. It was 450. I said, fuck it, I'm going to buy another one. I bought the VVDI Proc one uh, which is the same company but just a better device overall and you can read and write as many times you want this is the program for uh, vvdi1 and uh, as you can see from here you can read the eprom and the flash file and on the right side you have all the cast modules mine is cast 3 plus 
and it does have two different masks 0L15Y and 0M23S minus uh, 0M23S and uh, what I did I soldered these wires to the cast module and I was able to read my EEPROM and uh, my flash file and what I found out is that my flash file was corrupted and your flash file at the beginning I was completely in the dark with these uh, cast modules but I found out that actually your flash file is this 9226238 and they're interchangeable between all the cast modules it doesn't matter the mask since my mask is 0M23S it doesn't matter that this mask and this mask is 0L15Y uh, it doesn't matter uh, you can use this flash to, to this cast it doesn't matter the mask so basically it's uh, like a Windows update, something like this, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's, this is like your Windows, for example. And uh, you can use any flash, actually I found a flash online since uh, uh, I found this flash, I use this uh, 9389115. You can use, uh, you can, as long as you find a cast 3 plus flash, you can uh, upload it to your, uh, to your uh, cast and uh, if that was your problem, it will work. My EEPROM file was good. Uh, in the EEPROM file, you do have uh, your VIN number, your keys, and all this crap. So this is the important one. And the thing is, you cannot uh, uh, use, since you see, I bought the same part number. This is exactly the same one. And I was hoping that it will have the same mask, but it doesn't. This one does have uh, a 0L15Y mask. And mine is with a different one and all the rest of the cast modules are with the same mask uh, 0L15Y uh, and only mine is with 0M23S since I was trying to clone it to clone your um, uh, to clone your my cast you do need to have the same mask I actually I tried it I uh, download the file from this mask and then upload it to, to this mask and it does work but doesn't wanna the car is cranking but doesn't wanna start for example, on this one uh, is with the, 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 the other mask. And as you saw, I can go to ignition two and everything is working, but I just can't start the car. So I'm pretty sure there is a way to make it work, but uh, my cast is actually working. So I won't be needing this. I won't need to do this. So uh, next what I found is actually the, the thing which I need it's a uh, EOV of flash file this is the file which I found 9389116 EOV of and I uploaded it to the CAS and now as you saw I don't need the EOV uh, mo uh, module anymore so that's what you need only the only thing which you need is uh, this flash file and you will make your car work without the EOV uh, I still need to upload this file to to my cast since uh, the other one was just a uh, uh, test to make sure it's working all the wires are connected to the cast module and in the program actually you do have the diagram uh, where exactly you need to solder the wires uh, for every uh, cast module you have a different uh, diagram basically right now i just need to read the eprom you just need to press uh, here eprom and then uh, press read and it should read the EEPROM as you can see there we go operation is success so now I just need to save the file for one last time basically I'm gonna save I'm gonna name it just gonna save it and after this, I'm going to press flash and I'm going to read the flash for one last time. This is gonna take a while actually. And after I'm done uh, reading the file, I'm going to save it just in case uh, for the future. And then I'm going to flash the new uh, flash file and uh, we should be good all right it's uh, read the file now i just need to save it looking good 
And now I just need to, to open the new file. Let me just find it. ELV Elf. You can choose it like this. And after this, I just need to write the file. Press write. Yes. And this is gonna take a while. We are almost ready. And pretty much 97%. A little bit more. There we go, operation success. And now, let me check the file just to make sure everything's good. Okay. And now I'm thinking about uh, rewriting the EEPROM file just in case. Uh, let me see. Just one second. Now I'm just going to rewrite the EEPROM file. There we go. And that's it. I'm done. Now I just need to desolder the wires, put everything back together and we should be good to go. Well, I made a huge mistake. I forgot to disconnect the EOV while the steering wheel was uh, unlocked and now it's locked. But luckily, I do have a spare CAS module which I'm going to plug in and this one is with the EOV on. So, uh, let me just plug it in. All right. Now the steering wheel is unlocked. And now I just need to disconnect uh, the UV. Okay, let me just find it. All right. The UV is disconnected now. And as you can see, the icon for the steering wheel. And I'm pressing the start button, but nothing happened. So basically, that's what's gonna happen when your EOV is not working. Let's see if the car is going to start after the flash. To get loose the bolts you need a punch tool like this and a hammer and you just need to tap the bolts slightly and they will get loose so just like this you have to tap them a few times counterclockwise of course just tap them and they will get loose I already did mine so this one is loose as you can see I can take it off 
and the, my other one wasn't broken so it was a lot easier to remove it was E6 Torx but uh, if it was broken it was gonna be a lot more difficult actually